Although it's a beautiful day for baseball, unfortunately there's no baseball for the foreseeable future. Uh, but in the meantime, between the eating, drinking, and every bit of cleaning that you can do around a house and, and other things, you start organizing different things. And under the heading of baseball, decided to just go back into a closet and kind of walk through. I'm going to break this up into a number of different posts. But uh, it's all about uh, autographs, autograph baseballs, and maybe on uh, magazines and things of that nature. But basically, uh, have a little basket here, and I understand that uh, I'm going to need to be able to, uh, you know, put these in better casing. But here's some autograph baseballs, and we're going to have uh, a few different blocks of time. But this is post number one. But uh, Joe Torre baseball. Joe Torre uh, played for a number of different teams, but got the Joe Torre baseball down in uh, spring training for the Yankees. But uh, certainly, as I'm a big Yankee fan, uh, that was a pretty good prized uh, autograph spring training one year. And uh, certainly, uh, Joe Torre, aside from being successful as a player, um, was able to uh, have some success with the Yankees as a manager. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's an interesting one right here. Frank Howard. Frank Howard, uh, I think it notes here. Imagine that, 1968. He had uh, big time home runs. Uh, but bottom line is, Frank Howard, Hondo. He was uh, down at the Yankees spring training in uh, Tampa, Florida. And he was helping out the Yankees back a few years ago. And it's interesting, you know, obviously people are looking for the big time players and their autographs. But uh, Frank Howard, uh, being a statement, state, statesman of baseball, uh, at the end of practice where he was hitting fungos to A-Rod and all the other players, he basically took a, a, a chair and sat it right next to one of the gates. And he sat there for as long as anybody wanted autographs, he'd be there to sign. It might be 20, 30 minutes of people with autographs. But Frank Howard, a very imposing figure. Uh, on the field, big, big guy, home run power, and uh, back in the day with the uh, Senators. But here's another one, Mickey Rivers, Mick the Quick. Um, called Mick the Quick, played for the Yankees, and as much as you call Mickey Rivers Mick the Quick, if you really try to pull up some videos regarding Mickey Rivers, uh, you'd wonder how he could, you know, run as fast as he could, nevertheless walk, because the way he walked was kind of... Uh, <laughs> It looked like he uh, had arthritis at a young age, but Mickey Rivers, uh, that was in the parking lot of spring training down in uh, Tampa, but Mickey Rivers, a, a nice outfielder for the Yankees, He's playing center field, great wheels and all that kind of good stuff. Let's see what else we have here. We've got, I think I have about 60, 70 baseballs. Uh, here's another Frank Howard one. Uh, again, a couple different days uh, of going to spring training. There's a practice facility next to uh, Steinbrenner Field at Yank, uh, down in spring training. And uh, that's where we got that one. Here's uh, Hall of Fame ball, 2008 Goose Gossage. And um, he was one of the originals, certainly in later years, fair enough. But in later years, uh, Goose Gossage pitching for the Yankees, a uh, big time uh, reliever and, and got it done for a number of years. and was able to get into the Hall of Fame. Uh, and let's see what we have here. All right, keep, keep the baseballs coming. We've got a whole box full of them. All right, Chen Meng Wang. So Chen Meng Wang was a pretty good uh, pitcher for the Yankees, but unfortunately, uh, Chen Meng Wang uh, had some arm difficulties, but look at that signature, pretty cool. Uh, Chen Meng Wang, right-handed pitcher, he ended up after the Yankees playing for a couple different teams and after his rehab, had a lot of promise for the Yankees, but unfortunately uh, uh, didn't finish out his career there. But got that one uh, at Yankee Stadium uh, during one of the games where he came along the side of the, uh, the dugout area. But that's a few of them. That's post number one. We'll be back with post number two in a few moments.